Well, here we have the Panther mount made by TTS in Denmark. It's a precision engineered, basically a plasmus mount, but very portable because it knocks down into individual components that are easily carried and put in the There are no limitations to it being an altazimuth because there is a rotator unit on the top that rotates the top OTA. So you have the benefit of altaz with ease of balance, no stress of unbalanced load side to side, and the eyepiece and the camera is always in a good position in one vertical motion zone. This mount is very quick to set up, although the literature says about seven minutes, you can actually set it up physically in three minutes. Within another four minutes you can actually be imaging. This is the fastest mount to set up and use in the world, bar none. When you've got the mount set up after three minutes, there is no levelling and no polar alignment. All you need is a one star alignment from the onboard catalogue to get visual use. Two stars gives you very accurate to go to. The rotator on the top allows equatorial tracking for up to four hours, depending on what part of the sky you look at. The maximum load capacity of this mount is 22 kilos without the rotator. The rotator can comfortably handle 20 kilos. Obviously, you do have to take into account the length of the tube, so you wouldn't lose, use very long, say, F15 refractors. Schmidt Cassegrain shorter refractors, very comfortable load capacity. This is the portable version of the Panther, set up with the tripod. There is also a mini tripod for use on flat surfaces uh, where you want a lighter setup. But we can also supply different adapters to suit your own tripod or pier. Now, this is the setup that you would use to take to remote locations or to move around the garden if you have trees or buildings blocking a particular line of sight. But this mount is not only limited to, this is an example of an observatory setup where we have a pier and the panther is sitting on top. There is a big brother of the panther called the mammoth which takes a much larger load capacity of 50 kilos. The principle is the same. On here we have a telescope on the top with a rotator which is used for equatorial tracking and imaging. We have a telescope on the left hand side which can be used for solar and this one may be for spectroscopy or double star measurements. The load capacity of this observatory version is still the same, 20 kilos with a rotator, 22 kilos without. And the mammoth, as I said, is 50 kilos, allowing a much larger load capacity, much bigger instruments such as 14 inch Ritikratian, Cassegrain, something like that. Once again, in the observatory role, all the equipment is located at the back, so there is only this motion. You're always in a comfortable position for seated observing or manipulating your cameras and equipment. We believe that the Panther represents the best type of mount, universal applications, very versatile, can be portable or can be observatory mounted, and there is no other mount in the world that will set up as quickly as the Panther, or indeed the Mammoth in observatory use. Both telescopes can be controlled by Wi-Fi, and so you can have remote observing. This is probably the only mount you'll ever need.